Good morning, this is Mr. Keaton again. We're here to work on section 1.3. We're going to be discussing three things today. We're going to be discussing what a midpoint is, and then we're going to have a midpoint formula and a distance formula. Those are the three things we're going to look at today. So over here to the right, we have some notes for you to go ahead and add to your journal. The midpoint is the point, key. It is a point that divides a line segment into two congruent. Remember, that's equal sign with a squiggly line. That means equal segments, equal in length. Point S here is the midpoint of RT. So we can say the length of RS is congruent to the length of ST, which means we'll be able to say since RS here is 5x minus 2, 5x minus 2 is equal to 3x plus 8. And now we can use some Algebra 1 here and go ahead and solve. So I think I'll add 2 to both sides. Moving that gives me 5x is equal to 3x plus 10. And we can subtract 3x. Gives me 2x is equal to 10. Divide by 2 now to get solve for x. And we get x is equal to 5. So we solve for x and found x is equal to 5, but they're asking us to find the length of st. And we know st is equal to 3x plus 8, which is 3 times 2 plus, oh, 3 times 5, excuse me. 3 times 5, we're substituting that in for x, plus 8, which is 15 plus 8 is 23. And we got the answer they're asking for, the length of st. The next situation here, we have our two formulas. Please go ahead and pause here and put those two formulas into your notes. The midpoint formula and the distance formula. And then we have a line here, and we have the coordinates of the end. Remember those coordinates are ordered pairs, and one can be point one, or the, it can be either, they're interchangeable, anyways. So we're going to use the midpoint formula to solve for that coordinates of the midpoint. And that's simply the average of your x's, which is your first number here, x1 and x2. So I'll go 2 plus 10 divided by 2, comma, average of your y's. So 6 plus negative 3 divided by 2. And now we can simplify those, and we'll get an ordered pair for a point. That gives us 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 6 plus negative 3 is positive 3 divided by 2 is just 3 halves. Or we could write 1.5. So the coordinates of the midpoints are 6, 3 halves. And if you wanted to write 1.5, that would be fine too. Now they're asking us over here to find the distance or the length of this line. And we can do that with the distance formula. So now we go ahead and it's the difference of the two x values. I'm going to go 10 minus 2 squared. And this comes from the Pythagorean theorem. It's basically a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that's what this formula is derived from. And then we're going to take the difference. So we did 10 first last time, so we have to do negative 3 first here. So we'll have negative 3 minus 6 squared also. And all I did is substitute the x2s and the y2s into the equation. And now we can go ahead and simplify. So 10 minus 2 gives me 8 squared. And negative 3 minus 6, I don't like subtracting, so I'm going to change that to plus a negative, so it gives me negative 9 squared. And now I can go 8 squared is 64, plus negative 9 squared is 81. Add those two together, it gives me 145. Square root of 145. Now we could stop there, or we could hit our calculator and put a decimal answer, or we could simplify it. I think we'll just stop there for this problem here. Usually we'd simplify it though.